Question 6. A rectangular lamina of side 35 mm into 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edges. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in top view. The edge on which the lamina rests is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Draw the projections. First, we'll start with the reference line and we'll name the reference line as X and Y. The first part of the question. The rectangular lamina of side 35 mm into 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edges. We'll start with the rectangular lamina. 20 mm and 35 mm. Rectangular lamina. And we'll name this as A, B, B, and C. So this is the top view. Now we'll project this for the front view on X, Y line. So this will be our D dash, A dash, C dash, B dash. So this is the top view and this is the front view. Now let's move to the second part of the question. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. So in the top view, the rectangular lamina appears to be a square. So we'll start with it. 2 mm. 20 mm square name this as A, B, C and D so since they have not given any surface inclination we shall project this above X, Y line and one point is on the xy plane so to get the surface inclination we should take a compass measure the distance from d dash a dash to c dash b dash and then keeping it on this point we should cut an arc and we get the point c dash B dash and we shall join this line so since we don't know this we shall keep a protector and then measure this we will extend this line So the angle is 54 degrees. Now we shall move to the third part of the equation. The edge on which the lamina rests is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. So inclination with respect to HP is 30 degrees. So we will place the protractor, mark 30 degrees point and then extend this line. So this is 30 degrees line. So first we'll take the points A and D and keep it somewhere at a random point and then cut an arc. So this will be our A and this will be D. Keeping it from A, we shall measure B. Since it's a square, it is of equal sides. So we shall keep it here and then cut an arc. 
keeping from D will measure B and then cut an arc we get a point B and we shall mark it now keeping the compass at D we shall measure C and then cut an arc now keeping the compass from B we shall measure C and then cut an arc once again so we get all the four points A, B, C and D and now we shall join this So this is the final projection of the top view. Now we shall go for the front view. To get the front view, we should project all the points, all the projectors above x, y plane. and then project these over here so the point where A and A dash meets will be the A dash for the final projection where B dash and B meets will be the final projection of B dash C dash C C dash and D dash and D be the D dash okay. now we shall join this so this is our final projection now we shall finish the dimensioning and this one 35 mm Side, since it's a square and 30 degrees so this is the final drawing of question 6